ako po si Mrs. White. Ang ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon ay kung paano mag-solve ng force, acceleration, and mass using Newton's second law of motion formula, which is F is equal to ma. So, bago tayo magsimula ng problem solving, kailangan muna natin malaman kung ano ang um, ibig sabihin ng symbol na F is equal to ma. F stands for force, which is, of course, yung ating um, puwersa na ina-apply sa isang bagay. Ang unit of measurement or yung label na inilalagay natin sa value ng force ay kilograms meters per second square or N for Newton, just in short. Yung A naman is acceleration. Yung acceleration is, of course, yung uh, pagbilis ng galaw ng isang bagay once in apply mo yung force. And ang unit of measurement ng acceleration is meters per second squared. At yung M naman is stands for mass, which is yung bigat or composition ng isang bagay. And ang unit of measurement na ginagamit dyan is kilograms. Now, kung titignan ninyo yung kilograms meters per second ay nagmula sa mass and acceleration na unit of measurement nitong dalawang quantity na to, A and mass. So, itong F is equal to MA, it is simply stands um, for mass times acceleration. So, kumbaga, minultiply lang natin yung dalawang quantities na yan. And of course, pag minultiply mo yan, you will get force. Okay? So, ito yung mga formula or yung way kung paano nyo isinosolve ang first, yung force, you simply multiply mass times acceleration. Now, kung hinahanap mo naman yung acceleration, i-divide mo lang yung force by the mass. At kung hinahanap mo naman ay ang mass, you just simply divide force by acceleration. So, tignan natin itong first problem set natin. So, sabi dito, may isang bagay na ang mass ay 2 kilograms at gumagalaw ito sa bilis na 2 meters per second square. So, from being at rest, unti-unting lumalakad or gumagalaw, and ang kanyang acceleration is 2 meters per second square. And, sabi ay unknown force. So, hindi natin alam yung force. So, ibig sabihin, ang hinahanap natin dito ay force. So, ano ang mga given? Yung 2.0 kilograms is your mass. At yung 2... 0 0.0 meters per second square is your acceleration. And according sa formula natin kanina, F is equal to MA ang ating gagamitin. So, kung kasinolve natin yan, F is equal to 2 kilograms times... 2 meters per second squared. The answer is 4 kilograms meters per second square or simply 4 newton. Okay? So, tignan natin yung pangalawa. So, any questions here? Kung walang question, feel free to go back just in case hindi nyo naintindihan the first time. So, second problem set naman. An object with a mass of 2 kilograms has a force of 4 newtons applied to it. So, ulit, mass is 2 kilograms pa rin, but this time, ang ibinibigay sa atin ay force na 4 newton. What is the resulting acceleration? So, this time, ang hinahanap natin ay ang acceleration. And of course, ang given natin ay 
mass, which is 2 kilograms, at ang isa pang given ay yung 4.0 newton. So, according sa formula natin kanina, ang formula natin is A is equal to F divided by M. So, kung isa-solve natin siya, A is equal to force, which is 4.0. Now, itong 4.0 na to is kilograms meters per second squared. Pwede nating isulat na kilograms meters per second squared dito para makita natin yung relationship. And divided by 2.0 kilograms. Now, sa math, pagka mayroong common factor sa taas at saka sa baba, you just simply cancel them. So, yung kilograms, magka-cancel out. We are left with 2 meters per second squared. So, iyan ang ating acceleration. Okay? At yung pangatlo naman, what if the object accelerates at 12 meters per second squared when a force of 6 newton is applied. So, kung titignan natin, yung mass naman ang nawawala. So, since mass ang nawawala, automatically, yung acceleration at force ang given. So, acceleration is 12 meters per second squared at yung force is 6 newton. And according sa formula natin, ang gagamitin natin this time is m is equal to force divided by acceleration. So, let's solve. M is equal to, again, yung ating force is kilograms meters per second squared. So, ilalagay natin is 6 kilograms meters per second squared, which is the same as Newton, divided by 12 meters per second squared. So, this time, yung common factor sa so numerator and denominator is meters per second squared. And of course, pagka sinob natin siya, 6 divided by 12 is 0.5 meters, uh, sorry, kilograms. Okay? So, in summary, so, ating pagbalik-aralan, pag nagahanap ka ng force, kailangan mo lang i-multiply yung mass and acceleration. Kung hinahanap mo naman na acceleration, you just simply divide the force by the mass. At kung naghahanap ka ng mass, you just simply divide the force by acceleration. Sana ay nakatulong ito para maintindihan ninyo kung paano mag-solve ng problem set sa Newton's second law of motion, which is F is equal to MA. I hope to see you in class. Bye!